Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today let's make a mega city with simple sci fi plus flex. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a plane. I'm going to scale it up to S2, Control A to apply to scale. I'm going to tab into the face and I'm going to subdivide one, two, three times. Then I'm going to vertex and I'm going to go to top orthographic mode. Then I'm going to grab the two rows of vertex in this plane, as you see here. And then I'm going to go to the flex. I'm going to select, let's see, uh, industria, and I'm going to use the mesh generator. And that'll only apply to the vertex and the edges. So I apply generate faces, and this is what we have. And what it does is it makes it on its own plane, so it's by itself. And if you go into the modifier list, and let me pull this out, you'll see edge density, edge scale, the rotation degrees, instances per edge, and that's the bottom layer. And on the top collection, you have the vertex density, the scale, uh, the rotation degrees, the seed, your render mat pass, and your render material, or your, or your material preview, I'm sorry. So I'm not using a top here, so I'm going to stay on the bottom. I'm going to make the density one. I'm going to start this at a 0.3. And as you can see, it's on the edges and the vertices. I'm going to add one instance. And it's kind of cool looking because it kind of gives you um, like a grid grid situation. Um, and it's like kind of like grid spacing. So I'm going to go to solid and turn my shadow off so it doesn't bog down much. But if you take a look at it, it's pretty cool looking. It looks like grid spacing or some, something like that. So I'll turn the material preview to one, and that's what it looks like. And in order not to bog your system down, once you're happy with it, um, I'm gonna go ahead and hide that layer, and then I'm gonna select the back into the faces, and I'm, now I'm gonna select just the faces and not the vertices, and then I'm gonna pick another D-pack, and I'm gonna use Exodus here. I'm gonna change mesh to Geo Generator, and what I'm going to do is it's going to apply just to these faces now. So apply generation to faces. And basically this is makes another plane. And it's this one's basically set up like simple sci-fi where you have your bottom level densities and your top level densities. So here I'm going to make a little bit of a city. And uh, not too big, but just to put in the grid spacing, set the material preview to one. And as you can see, I want to build these and then I want to turn them off. But if you turn them both on right now, you can see where I'm going. So I got some grid spacing with some buildings in there, but I'm going to turn them off. I'm going to go back into the face and I'm going to select, let's see, I'm going to select, let's select, um, I'm going to select one more edge in from just one outer. I'm going to select this time Rhea. I'm going to stay on Geo. And I want to use the geo generator and apply. And same thing like simple sci-fi. It's your top and bottom level densities. And I'm just going to populate a little city here and check this out. And <clears throat> so I'm just adding another little city, preview one. Um, turning them on, you can start to see how it's starting to populate a little mega city. So I'm going to turn them all back off again. I'm going to go into the face. And this time I'm going to grab the center and extrude that down just to make it look cool. And then we'll grab the outside here. And I'm going to stay with the faces once again. Just grab the faces. And let's see. Um, I'll grab Exodus, I believe, again. Yes, let's do that one. I like that one. And Geo Generator. This time I'll make a tall city. And that looks kind of cool. And you turn them all on all on and you're starting to look like this is ridiculous right <laughs> looks really cool so last but not least you want to go in and fill in you know the last of the mesh here so i'm going to select all these i'm going to stay on the face the geo generator and i'm going to load piper and i'm going to apply and i'm not going to use any top i'm just going to use the bottoms here so let me get a nice setting and that looks kind of cool. So, yeah, I love it how the pipes stick out and all. So that's cool. So let me grab these. These are all the packs. I'm going to put it in this collection, close it, and then turn them all on, and that's what it looks like. But it will bog down your system. 
So you do want to turn them off and kind of eye it up this way. Now, at this point, it's time to add a camera and set up your composition of your shot. Um, I'm just going to go through a different couple different looks here to figure out how I want to set this up. And once I get it set up, we'll get started. <clears throat> Let me try this. And this looks good like this. So that looks good. I like that right there. So we'll drop in a light. I'll drop that down in the gutter. That way, and we'll set that to, you know, a light color, light up, something to do like that. Then I'm going to dupe it, dump this one out the side. Um, I'm going to make a box for the fog. Make the box wire. Go in here, call it fog. Then I'm going to delete this and add a volume scatter like I always do. Set it low density and just give it a shot. Let's see what it looks like in render. So, yeah, it's got a little bit of smoke in there. So I'm going to turn the city on with a render view and as you can see it starts to populate okay these uh these mat passes are on let me correct these turn that off <clears throat> change these mat passes to material preview and set the generator up then i'm going to shut everyone off and select just one one plane and then i'm going to go in here and i'm going to work on the actual material and i'm going to experiment with the nodes I'm actually going to get in here and play with the uh, the mix, and I'm going to change the side the side map to some to one that comes with it. So I'm going to use one of the standard ones that comes with Simple Sci-Fi, and we'll use that one. Um, then I'm going to go in and play with the uh, the brightness and the contrast in the node setting here. <clears throat> I like metallic a lot, so I'm going to add that and then bump up some of the brightness so it's not pure metallic. Once again, play with the mixture here, which I'm happy with. This is cool. So at this time, I'd like to add a dirt node, so I'm just going to go to Kit Ops. Where is Kit Ops? And kit ops and then the k pack that comes with simple sci-fi um what is it simple sci-fi props it's in there i'm going to drop it in and i'm just going to delete it because i just need it in the in the menu so i'm going to select on the material that i was working on again and this time i'm going to hit shift a and i'm going to drop it in between the color and the base color i'm going to put uh, dirt node 2020 and I'm just going to go in here and I'm turn the overall mount down. I'll play with the brightness, the contrast of the dirt, um, also the scale of the dirt. <clears throat> just kind of tweaking it the way I like it. And, you know, I want to make it look real grungy, which is cool. So I'm going to bump this off a little bit. And this is my piece here. And I think that looks really cool and grungy. So I'm going to go with that. And... If I get a good render with a good reflection of some light, that's going to look really good. So I'd say right about, yeah, that looks good to me. So once I did that to the one piece, for this instance, I did it to them all at the same. So you can make them different if you want, but I did them all for this instance. And you can keep the eyeballs off as long as the uh, render windows are on and you're good to go. I'm going to save this. And I think I'm going to, let's see, I have, you can leave these eyeballs off. The render windows are on, so they'll render. So let me just make these lights a little bit brighter, change some colors. Um, I'm going to go in and tweak this a little bit more, just so I want more reflection off the, uh, the buildings and stuff. I'm going to change this to an area light and actually shoot it straight up instead of a point light. And I think I'm one more light. I'll dupe this over here. And uh, we'll change the color of that and the strength. And uh, yeah, there it is in the fog box. It looks pretty good. I'll change it to area light and just just give it a little blue tint right over that side. And that looks good to me. Okay. So one more save, and then I'm going to go set the render settings up, and then make sure my denoise is set up properly. I'm going to go down to color management, make this high contrast. Bump the exposure to 7.5, actually 6.5, and take the gamma to 0.9. And I think we're good to go, so let's render it.
Yeah, that's a cool mega city right there. And there's mega city, mega D packs. I hope you really like the video. The way to go, man. The way to go. Okay, till next time. Simple sci-fi plus flex, guys. Take it easy.